Hey, so we just got our uh, XPrint server from Lantronics uh, in, and we're trying to see if it works here with our uh, farm planning solution receipt printing. Uh, so you get this little little box here, uh, pretty small. On the end, you got uh, your USB port, which we've plugged directly into our Bixelon uh, SRP310, I believe, uh, Ethernet, and then the power. Uh, so this USB goes into the back of this printer. Uh, we picked this printer, one, because of uh, the joint press, press release with Lantronics in uh, Bixelon, uh, but it seems to be pretty robust. It's waterproof, um, which might be a little bit bonus for some of the stuff we want to use, where we want to have it. Uh, so you can just pop it open there, take a look at the printer, um, put it in. So actually, let me do that again, make sure I got it out enough. It's good. Uh, so now it's all plugged in, turned on for a few seconds in here. We're going to go to the app. Uh, I'm on an iPad 2, and I'm just going to select print. I'm going to pick the Bixelon. What's needed is it also picked our, picked our uh, office copier, uh, so it's actually running through the uh, Lantronics as well. So I'm going to print this, and I'm going to print. So it's fired it off to the printer. There we go. Uh, so the one thing that we have noticed is that the Safari does like to attach a footer on it, uh, giving you the date and the page. Uh, it also does some auto margins. Uh, so you're not getting really the as big as, uh, font as you want, um, but definitely functional, usable. Uh, Chrome uh, on the iPad does seem to truncate it off, doesn't give you this thing on the bottom, which is kind of nice. Um, but there we go, working, ready to go, receipt printer. Uh, the great thing about this, it was plug and play. Honestly, you slap it down, plug it in, and you hit print, and it worked. Um, I was very skeptical <laughs> after doing all my reading to find it, uh, but it worked. Cool. Thanks.